Welcome back to the channel. My name is Felicia. It's been a while since I posted like a plant upkeep video or a plant shelf cleaning video. So that's what I'm going to do today. I was going to do it anyways, but I figured why not capture it on film? For those of you who may not have seen one of those videos in the past. Now this is my what I call my plant stand, but it's technically like a bookshelf or whatever you want to put on it type of stand. I got it from Ikea over a year ago at this point, but they still have it in stock. So I will leave a link below in my description box if you're interested in getting this for your plants or whatever you have going on in your home. And I'll also insert a photo here on the side so you can see what it looks like without the plants. But this has been working really well for me. I've also installed some grow lights on here just to kind of add some additional um, lighting for my plants. Um, I do keep this right now in our lower in the lower level of our home so it gets light during the day so I added those grow lights just to supplement and I mean that's about it in addition to cleaning the stands I also want to cut back some of my pothos plants because they've been growing kind of wild which is what I like about pothos plants but I think I want to cut it back just because I feel like they haven't been doing that well. I don't know if it's because of the placement, the location, or what. But I'm just going to cut those back and I'll probably propagate the leaves. And what I'm going to use to clean my shelf is this Sprayway cleaner. You can get it anywhere. Target, Walmart, BJ's, wherever. And I love this stuff. I wanted to give you guys a closer look at some of these plants. So this is the Hoya Carnosa Compacta. And I haven't had any issues at all with this plant since I've had it. I haven't repotted it. I've had the plant now for probably probably about two years at this point. This is probably, I mean, outside of course of, you know, maybe plants that have dried or curls, leaves, whatever, that have dried up and I've had to just take them out. I've noticed that this stem, you notice how it's a little lighter in color than the rest of the stems? This stem is obviously dead. Um, you can see there's some um, curls on there that's already brown so I don't know I don't know why that's happening I haven't repotted this plant in the two years that I've had it and it hasn't really given me any issues you would think that a plant like this will be difficult to care for but this is probably one of the easiest plants that I have to care for it's a slow grower but it grows I also have a smaller one that I got from Amazon which I have upstairs but I just wanted to show that to you guys. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced this with your Hoya Carnosa Compacta. Um, it's also known as a Hindu rope. But I just, when I saw that, I was a little shocked. I was really shocked. Now, oh, well, there we go. It came out. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. See? Let's take a closer look at the point where I <laughs> snapped it off. The screen is a little blurred so I don't know I don't know what happened with this one but you guys get to see it first so odd hopefully that's the only one I'll just put that there for now but I'm hoping that's the only one that I'm gonna have some issues with because I love this plant this is one of my favorite plants if God forbid something ever happened and the house is burning down and my husband said you have one plant that you got to save I'm saving this plant because I, I just love it so much. And then moving on up to the top, this is where I keep my pothos plants. I have my neon pothos there in the corner and my golden pothos. If you guys are new to the channel, when I first got my neon pothos, my husband got it for me um, during the holiday season of 2021. We ordered it at the time where, you know, no one was going outside for obvious reasons. He placed the online order and it arrived much later than expected. When it finally did arrive, it was in pretty bad shape. So I like to kind of pat myself on the back for bringing that one back to life. And you'll see when I clip the, um, the vines, but usually when I clip um, Pothos plants vines, I'll propagate it and then I'll stick it right back in the plant. And that helps to just make it look a lot fuller. And then here's my golden pothos. So really stringy. I, I want to cut a lot of the stringy ends. I want to remove some of the yellow leaves. So that's what you'll see me do today. So stick around. I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional, but then I turn around and let it go. Watching me from a distance I see you can't decide what to feel 
But if you dig a little deeper, boy, you know you really want to get to know me. Let's get this out of the way. I can't wait another day to tell you you shouldn't wait. Don't be so afraid. Yeah. wrap things up, I wanted to share a few updates we've made to our home over the last three, four months now. We finally received our sectional, it arrived back in April, but we received our sectional. Love it, it is so comfortable. We got it from Ashley's Furniture. We also received this credenza here on the side from Ashley's Furniture. Now those two silver lamps I just showed you, we actually removed those and we put those in our bedroom because we just felt like it was too small for this space. And instead we opted to 
purchased these two beautiful gold lamps. The base is gold, the shade is black, and I absolutely love them. I've been eyeing them for a while and I finally decided to pull the plug and order them. Now, I currently have a larger lamp on here, which you'll see shortly, and I love that one too, but I found that on top of this credenza or cabinet or whatever you wanna call it, I felt like two lamps looked a lot better than one, and because I couldn't find that lamp that you now see over to the right, because I couldn't find a second one, I decided to return it to the store, and oh, there's my daughter. I decided to return that to the store and order two new lamps. Although I love these lamps, I do wish that they were a little bit taller, a little bit wider, larger, but it's okay. I feel like it fits the space perfectly fine. I'll probably switch the lamps out depending on the season, but for now, I'm absolutely loving these. So I just wanted to share these quick updates. As I mentioned before, I'll be sharing some home updates in my video going forward, so look out for more. Thank you guys for watching my video. I'm now upstairs in my kitchen getting dinner ready. Um, I'm using some veggies, some green bell peppers that I harvested from my container garden. Stay tuned for another update video on some of the recent veggies that I've harvested and also how I prepare them for long-term storage. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.